Let me say that Nigeria has wittingly or unwittingly dragged the Biafran issue from the periphery into the mainstream discussion. Nam De Kano, in my view, threw a bet and Nigeria took it. There, he is the most popular political prisoner and will end up either as a hero or a martyr. But to his credit, he has fought Nigeria and the world to discuss Biafra. I believe that keeping him there does not do Nigeria any good. I believe this young man should be released and released like yesterday. So, if I were President Buhari, quite honestly, I will be very suspicious of anyone who advises me to ignore the Biafran issue. I will be very suspicious. Anybody who says that is either ignorant or being mischievous or quite patently doesn't mean well for the government itself. Probably wants the same government to repeat the mistakes of the past so that it could lead it down the trend. We must start learning in this country. So let's talk Biafra. Where are the evil elite and the intelligentsia in all of this? Especially those in Nigeria. It seems, as this book points out, this is being driven mostly by the evil intelligentsia in diaspora, the new resurgence. The new ones within there seems to be a division, three classes you can identify. The ones within the mainland, and I'm shocked and you discussed, they have a different point of view. Those in diaspora within Nigeria, so to speak, who are in Abuja and Lagos and so on and so forth, Kano, Kaduna and so on. And an elder was asked about that, living in one of these uh, northern states about Biafra. And they asked him, ah, what do you think about this Biafra? Said what? Nah, I just didn't know he came my name and a mama and I was in not to go. In other words, they should keep it up, but you know I can no longer go now. You see all the things I have here, I cannot carry them on my head. So there seems to be a sense of either denial and on one part, or people who think no 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 it won't be, because we can't just imagine it. And because of some discussion that, oh, okay, if this happens, uh, you will lose your property, you will lose that, and so on. Of course, that is untenable. I mean, uh, I, I too was wrong on this because if, uh, if by any chance you have another state of Biafra, it will be the 16th state of ECOWAS. And that means you have free movement of goods and persons. But the fundamental question, the fundamental issue is that this debate is not happening. This whole thing is being driven almost in a haphazard manner. But, again, where is the elite in this? What is missing is structural debate and the apparent elite aloofness or complicity or hypocrisy. Elite in denial. For the politicians who think you can just, let's use them temporarily, you know. Let's use them. Just go on. Why we can then use that to negotiate uh, for something here. I can tell you, <laughs> you will create a monster that will consume you. <laughs> when that fame fennel comes, what does everybody else? And the kind of thing that happened in Biafra where descent, any descent was considered a saboteur. Okay? You might get to a point where you will be telling them, just go on. Why we can negotiate here? get something for ourselves in Abuja. I can tell you these guys are no fools. At some point, they will look at you too and know that you are actually part of the problem. <laughs> All right. That is Soludo. That is Prof. Charles Soludo, the current governor of Anambra State. I hope every one of you heard what he said. I hope every one of you understand the point. 
Of course, I always bring reality to my people. I'm coming here to remind them, should be in case if they have forgotten what they said from their mouth. Because we have said on this Biafran restoration project, we are taking record. I know black people, they don't keep record. That is what we are coming to change so that we can be able to use our common sense. And there's the questions that we want to ask. And I want this message to get to Prof. Charles Sorudo, the current governor of Anambra State. When he was saying all these things, he's not a governor. And I begin to ask myself, it seems that people are using Mazin Namdekano and IPOB for their political ambition. I'm just asking a question. And I want every one of you that will see this video to make it get to Prof. Chasso Ludo because we want to understand. And I know you heard what he said from his mouth. Or Prof. Charles Sorudo want to tell us that it's his body double was telling us all these things. Because it seems that things have changed. Let me introduce myself so that we'll go in detail. All right, great people. Wonderful people. Great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media. Under the leadership of Mazin Landi Okan. Here... We set the record straight. My name is Mazo Okin known as the Biafran Shadow Watching again. The general. Now listen very careful. And let this message go get to Prof. Shasoludo so that he will let us know. According to Prof. Shasoludo, he said Mazin Nam the Colonel is the most popular political prisoner as a hero or a martyr. He said it. And when he was saying all these things, he's not a governor. Good. I hope you are getting the point. Let further. He also said he believed by keeping him, which is Mazin Namdekano, in prison, doesn't do any good to Nigerians and anyone. He further said more. Mazin Namdekano have forced Nigeria and the world to discuss about Biafra. If you people haven't forgotten the genocidal war against the indigenous people of Biafra, 1967 to 1970, I'm here to remind you. Mazin Namdekano make Nigeria and the world to discuss about Biafra. According to Soludo, that means that they have already forgotten about Biafra. But Mazin Namde can bring it back. I want to remind Soludo if he has forgotten what he said. That is why this video has to go to him. And he further said more. Where is the Igbo elites and intelligentials? When he was saying this, he's not part of the elites. Now he is among the elites. You know, I hope every one of you are getting the point. Because we have said on this quest of self-determination, whatever that comes out from their mouth is what we will use against them. So in case if they have forgotten, we are going to remind them because we are taking the record. We are IPOB, the indigenous people. Now my question is, when they were going for political solution, amnesty, Soludo went to our leader to visit him. They discussed. That is when the court never ruled any case. They went. They were negotiating. Today, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen, Namdekan have been discharged. None of them are not saying anything. But I want you people to understand this. 
This is for every one of politicians. Biafran elites that are hoping that Nigeria will be changed. No. If you are outside the box, you will be thinking very well. But when you are in the box, you begin to understand that some things that you cannot say. We keep on talking about the constitution of that contraption. You may be outside because you are not part of them. You begin to jump around, say you are going to do this, you are going to do that. But when you get there, you will see that you are a slave. And there is nothing you can do about it. This is a example to you all. I have no much to say. But I want you people to make sure that this video gets to Prof. Charles Oludo, the current governor of Anambra State. Good day.